and it's always wicked tight so I feel like oh my god that looks insane let's see actually it doesn't look bad no the front post looks really good but the back pose look crazy yeah back pose looks insane he 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 Okay, check-ins, hashtag done. Best I have, feel like I have physically looked all of breath. I feel amazing. Let me actually intro. Good morning, welcome back to another video. We are 11 days out, I think so, 11 days out. From our first show of the season and I thought it would be a little silly goofy fun to show y'all my morning routine for to be productive and to get my day start off started off right. Um, I started this routine about a week ago, and when I tell you, this has changed my mindset and changed my prep drastically. I can't even explain how much this has changed mentally this last week. I was watching a YouTube video of some other people doing their like 5 a.m. morning routine because I've been waking up like at 5 a.m. And I was like, that is not even like productive. So even if you're not a bodybuilder, I thought it could be fun silly goofy to see you know 5 a.m. routine as someone who is like super like reductive right now and super like having to get every box checked um I just think it's a fun video to watch so yeah morning has begun I did my skincare brush my teeth weighed myself made my bed um and I did my check-in and then now now that we've tidied up we're gonna sip on some coffee and wake myself up a little bit before we do some morning movement today is a check-in day with my coach um, it's because it's a Tuesday and a little update for people that haven't kind of keeping up. So we weighed in today at 130.2. I have been stuck for two weeks at uh, 132. So I dropped like two pounds last night. I don't know. Hopefully it stays down. But I feel like I look really good. And yeah, we're just updating him about my sleep and my digestion any comments for the week but honestly I filled it out last night and my comments are like I'm just itching to get on stage and I feel amazing and I just am on top of the world with how we're looking um, when I tell you this morning routine just changed everything this morning routine has changed everything me starting the day off this way oh, we'll talk more about this later but I truly believe that this has allowed me to be able to fix my mindset a lot and wake up and start my day and get all my stuff done nice and early and make me excited to to check all the boxes so it's really changed my mindset a lot because although I might not always have the physical energy it's allowing me to feel mentally like I'm showing up for myself still as well so I'm gonna send this over to him and we'll see a little bit later what coach has to say I'll nail the deal though I fill up my um hydro whoa Stanley I don't even know I just drink water um first drink is always water before coffee um I do a good chug and then we're gonna sip on, sip on our coffee um, and just enjoy that for a minute. One thing I have been doing, although I take my check-in pictures and send it to my coach on my phone, I don't go on my phone in the morning, like non-negotiable, like I do not scroll. It makes me look forward to my cardio in the morning. So if you're somebody that wants to get up and like go get like some movement or walk it on the stairs, tell yourself you're not allowed to be on your phone until you get onto your cardio and then you have like so much to scroll and look through for the first like 20 minutes. That's my hack. Is yeah, I, I don't look at it and then I'll go and I'll get straight, like when I wanna scroll, I go call the elliptical, sorry. Um, and then that way I have something to do. I check my emails, I scroll Pinterest, I check Instagram, scroll my comments, do all of that. And it makes the first 20 minutes pass by really fast. And y'all know the first 20 minutes of cardio, I feel like it's the hardest. And once you get that out of the way, like the rest is easy. In general, feeling freaking shrink wrapped though. Like, <laughs> it's 
kind of wild that we're getting so close. I feel like Brandon is going to say I look ready today, but obviously <laughs> this is fucking lean. <laughs> My exam studying king. GI on the board. <laughs> okay. Um, and kind of like I was saying, set non negotiables with tasks that make things successful. So obviously, my cardio has to get done because first I do it fasted. Like, I don't eat until I do my cardio. So it makes it so it's like, oh, if I'm hungry and I need to go finish that. Same thing. I can't check my phone. So it's like, oh, if you want to do your phone, you have to do cardio, right? So I use the morning. First, I'm going to sip on some coffee for like half an hour because my body needs to wake up because I don't think my body could move like that right now. Um, but while I do that, I'm going to edit the thumbnail for the video that's going up today um, just to check some boxes and then I'll sit down on my planner and I planned the day last night, but I just kind of want to look at everything I need to do today and get mentally prepared to get everything done checking off that I did my check-in and set my routine and checking off that we started our vlog and then I can check off with the thumbnails done once I do that. She's edited. I kind of like that thumbnail. All cheek. Honestly, it low-key might get flagged. <laughs> Sometimes when I put my back pose on my thumbnail, I take it down. Um, so we finished watching that video. I edited that thumbnail. I'm gonna go ahead and schedule it to go up today. One thing about me is I don't have a set schedule on when I post. I just kind of put it up when I'm like excited about it and excited about a video. And I feel like that gets y'all more content than like trying to force myself to record in days I don't want to because I've just been recording literally like every other day right now. Is it bad if I just put it up at noon? Imagine a video goes at 10, up at 10 a.m. I'm putting up it up at 10 a.m. Whatever. Yay, okay. She's scheduled. Yep. Loki, I'm getting really good at these thumbnails. <laughs> I do consider feeding my sourdough a part of my productive morning routine. I don't know if we're gonna make sourdough today, but I've been beefing her up to get more discard because there's a couple of discard recipes I've been wanting to make. So we're gonna we're gonna feed my sourdough. How uncomplicated I've made feeding my sourdough. No judgment. We use tap water. It's kind of like a plant. If it can't survive being in this household. It's not meant to be here. So I, um, I've just been feeding it with an unbleached all purpose. I'm using the Trader Joe's one. And then I do a one-to-one -one ratio pretty much of feeding. But I honestly nowadays go by texture. I don't really weigh it, which I know people will hate to hear. I used to hate seeing people say that they don't know how much they feed their sourdough. I just... I go by texture and what I want the the dough to, um, or what I want my starter's uh, texture to be, I don't know. I go by texture. I didn't discard from it today, I'm just feeding it, um, and I'll probably end up making a dough with it later today. I am lucky enough to have a apartment gym so I can just walk downstairs to do my cardio it's 6 12 so we'll do my hour of fasted cardio on the elliptical down here and it's usually pretty empty around this time um, and then that way we can eat breakfast at like 7 30 when we get back downstairs with timing it right and I got my water I finish a whole liter before I eat breakfast
Okay, cardio done. Check that box. Like I said before, I feel like the first like five to 10 minutes are the hardest. What really helps me is I have the amount of time decided before I go down there. Obviously I'm on prep, so it's different, but let's say you just wanted to get like morning movement. The night before, lay out your clothes and tell yourself, okay, I'm doing 20 minutes in the morning. I'm doing 30 minutes in the morning. And that way you have that non-negotiable time that's like, okay, this is the time I'm done. And then that way you're not like thinking the whole time, oh, how much longer do I need to do this? And you still get that like sweat dopamine boost. Um, Cause halfway through I kind of like, my energy drops off and I feel kind of like crap obviously. But then once you're getting near the end, you get excited, you know, you do that final sprint. And it makes you just excited for checking that box. Cold shower done. Normally after the gym, I, or I do my cardio session, I put my hair in a hair cap, run straight into a cold shower. It just makes me feel so refreshed. Um, did my full head to toe skincare routine again, body care routine. If you want to see that more in detail, let me know. Um, but now we can make breakfast. I always put on like a cutesy little matching set. It's just part of the routine. Okay, it makes me feel good. So I have a couple outfits that like are my ride or die and it just makes me feel so like put together while I'm making breakfast. Um, sometimes it's literally just like a loose baggy t-shirt and sweatpants, but like clean, makes you feel refreshed. Um, clocking in time, it is 7.38. Now we're gonna make some breakfast. This is me realizing I don't have literally two of my three ingredients to make breakfast this morning, so I do need to run to the grocery store, which is great because it's 7.40 in the morning. Um, what time does Trader Joe's open, seven? Eight. Eight. We're gonna open up Trader Joe's. Okay. <laughs> I think I can go in this outfit, it'll be fine. Second coffee for the troubles. See you back after the store. And we're back. Busy morning. Uh, we're now sitting at 8.30, it's 8.37. Normally I wouldn't have to go to the grocery store. That definitely added a bit of time. Um, but this is our meal one. I do one egg, 100 grams of spinach, and four ounces of ground beef. Obviously when I'm not on prep, I don't have to go to the grocery store for like two sources of groceries, but I'm gonna do what we gotta do when I'm on prep. Um, I just happened to run out and then this is my me time. Usually I'll watch a YouTube video or something to just like decompress a little bit while I eat. I have some tea this morning. Mm. I love a good iced herbal tea right now. Um, and I use a little chalupa. We're gonna use the tequila lime one today because I'm out of the normal, my normal one. I normally use the chalupa chipotle. That one's so good. Yeah, I'll sit this, I'll enjoy my meal. I'll watch a little Netflix and just get my brain ready to, to grind here and do some work in a minute. <laughs> Busy morning, busy morning. Okay, I've been watching Miss Kayla's vlog, but um, I made a post. I don't, I don't consider my like, I don't know, my reels and my editing and things like that like work, obviously. So I posted a little IG reel this morning and dude, Okay, wait, I need to like show it to y'all without the sound. Go see it on my Instagram. But I put my heart and soul 
into my editing. I feel like it's been getting my like creative itch out a little bit to sync up these videos, like the songs and things like that. And um, Parse has been helping me record a lot. i would gotten a new blend. So just been really loving the content in the sense of the real editing. Yeah, we have done laundry this morning. We turned the dishwasher on and tidied up. Uh, and we're just preparing. It's about to be nine o'clock, so I'm about to sit down. I am actually really, really excited. Okay, it, that, that's how it should be. You should be excited to work and love what you do. Like obviously that's the goal, not how it should be, but that's the goal of life obviously is to love what you do. And um, I have three new clients starting this morning, so I'm kind of like itching to sit down and start working and get their protocol going. But how I'm just really excited to have so many new girls starting recently. So I'm gonna sit down now and start working. And that is my morning routine, my my five to nine before I start actually working. Um, I'm gonna spend the first hour literally just grinding out those thir uh, three um, clients starting. And then I have a bunch of client check-ins today. Today is all my lifestyle girlies. They're not any of my prep girlies. Um, I have my prep check-ins like Monday and Thursdays, and then Tuesday and Wednesdays are all lifestyle clients. The video here, let me know if you'll want more videos like this. I'm really, really loving just posting more of like what I like to watch um, and putting my love into it. And I really love like the productivity routine based stuff, discipline based stuff. So um, more videos like this to come. Love y'all. And I cannot believe we are a week and a half out, 11 days out. So next video, peak week. See y'all.